Hey everybody, welcome back to the Destinations channel. I'm Sal Patera and today we're going to talk about the things that you should be doing two weeks prior to your cruise. I'll be right back and we'll go over the top 10 list right after this. Welcome back. As always, thanks for staying through the intro. Please make sure you click that subscribe button, click the little bell notification, that way YouTube will let you know every time we upload a brand new video. Now here we are, you're two weeks away from your cruise and I'm sure you're super excited. Last week we went over what to do three weeks before your cruise and today here we are just two weeks left and we're gonna go over the things that you should be doing right now, just two weeks before your cruise. Number one, the first thing you should be doing right now is to double check all of your boarding documents. Now, what I mean by this is, first of all, the documents you're going to print out on your website of your carrier that you'll be cruising on. We're going to talk about that in just a little bit, but also your documents such as your passport. Again, make sure that your passport is valid. You're going to double check your driver's license. Make sure your driver's license is still valid and you're going to check your birth certificate make sure it's an original copy offered by the state that you're living in now what i mean by that is no photocopies will be accepted just make sure it's an original copy it should have the raised seal from the state that you live in where you were born at rather also you're going to make sure you take photocopies of all of them as well just take your phone and make photocopies of all of your documents you never know if they could get lost or stolen while you're traveling to your cruise uh, port of call and you just want to make sure that you have a backup copy on your phone. A lot of cruise lines will allow that backup copy on your phone as an emergency document should something happen on your way to the cruise port. Number two, this is a great time at two weeks out to check your luggage. Make sure it's worthy of the trip. Make sure there's no rips, tears, seams aren't coming apart. Check to make sure that your luggage is in good condition because it is going to be handled kind of roughly both by the airline when you check it in at the port. Porters are going to be putting a lot of luggage on top of it and below it. Just make sure it's in good condition. Also, check your TSA locks. Make sure they're in good condition. Make sure they lock. Make sure they're not rusted because now's a good time to go out and get those replaced if they are in bad condition. Number three is to go out and buy your sundry. Go to your local Walmart or whatever store is equivalently and get your shampoo that you like to use, deodorants, conditioners, shaving blades, anything that you're gonna need for the trip. The cruise lines used to put a lot of samples in your stateroom, bathroom. Most cruise lines don't do that any longer. So now you're going to need to bring your own. Debbie and I like to go to the sample section where you can just get little bottles for about a dollar of almost everything that you'll need. But now is a great time to go shopping so that when you start packing, you have those readily available. Number four is to think about formal night on board. Think about what you're going to be wearing for formal night. And now is the time to take those items to the dry cleaners and make sure that they are going to be clean in time for your trip. Number five, we talked about this a little bit last week when I had you start your packing list. So when it comes time to pack your bag, which will be on next week's video, it's a lot easier. This week, go through that list one more time. Make sure you have everything on there that you're going to want to pack and maybe even take a few things off that you're not necessarily going to need for your trip. A few things that you might want to put on there that you might not have thought about is a power strip for your room. You can bring power strips on board, but make sure they're not surge protected. I know it's backwards from what you were taught, but make sure they're not surge protected because there are very limited outlets on board the cruise ship. Another thing you might want to bring is extra hangers. Your cruise ship stateroom closet is only going to have between five and six hangers in there. You can get more from the stateroom steward, but even those can be somewhat limited. So you might want to bring some hangers as well. And one thing that we always bring are those 3M removable hooks. Those things are great for your cabin for hanging up your towels, hanging up your robes, and anything else you want to hang up that you might wear again. Instead of throwing it on the floor, you can use those temporary tags. Just make sure they're the temporary ones where you pull the strip at the end and it doesn't leave any residue at the end of your voyage.
Number six, now is the perfect time to confirm those travel reservations. Make sure your flights are still what you anticipated. Call your pre and post cruise hotel. Make sure those are still in place as you anticipated and go over your travel plans in general. Even if you're driving, go over your mapping. You might want to look at uh, some map softwares or apps on your phone to figure out where construction will be, what cities you're going through and the best route to get there. Now, if you're driving to the port, it's a great time to go get that car checked out, get an oil change if it needs one, especially if it's going to be a longer trip, get an inspection on the car just to make sure if you are driving that it's roadworthy for your upcoming trip. Number seven is to complete your cruise lines online check-in. They're gonna ask you everything from whether or not you're sick to all of your information regarding your travel. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your passport handy or any documentation that you're gonna be using for your trip. They're gonna ask you for flight information and a lot of other information because not only are you checking in with your cruise line, but they're also automatically registering with the Department of Homeland Security so that when you get to the pier, everything goes perfect. Also, you're going to print out your boarding passes and your luggage tags at the end of this process. It's very simple. Now, if you are on a group cruise, sometimes the group cruise at the very end, when it's time to print out your luggage tag and boarding passes, will make a little bit longer wait to about a week out before the cruise. But for most individual reservations, you can print those out today. Number eight, while you are on your cruise line's website, it's a great time to buy drink packages, internet packages, and other things you might want on board the ship. They usually give you a discount for purchasing them in advance on your website. So go through the website. There's all kinds of good stuff on there. Like I said, you have your drink packages on there, internet. You can also buy stateroom gifts and decorations, sure excursions, lots of things on there that you can get cheaper today than if you wait to get on board. Number nine is to call your cell phone carrier and check your coverages that you're going to be having on your cruise vacation. Now, I can tell you that a lot of carriers, I'm going to tell you this in advance, have no idea what it's like to be on a cruise ship. They simply look at your international coverage and a lot of them will say, yes, you have coverage on a cruise ship. I'm here to tell you there are almost no coverages that are included in your plan for your phone that are going to cover you while on board. And the reason why is the ship is using a satellite that we're all sharing. And because of that, the ship does have expensive surcharges. So you're going to want to make sure when you're on board the ship, you keep that phone in airplane mode. Now, if you're buying an internet package, a lot of companies like Verizon do have phone over internet, which means you can actually use your phone as a phone while you're in airplane mode, as long as you're connected to the internet. There are also packages, like I said, I have Verizon that offer you a per 24 hour fee while you're in a foreign country for a small amount of money. For instance, Verizon is $10. Now it's not automatic. You've got to call your cell phone coverage and have them add this to your plan. It's normally free, but then you get a 24 hour period in the Caribbean where you can use it at any island for 10 bucks. Now, if you really want to be smart and you only use your phone for the second half of one port and the first half of a port the next day, you can actually get two different ports in that one 24 hour period and only pay that one $10. So again, call your cell phone provider and make sure that you're gonna be covered during your trip. And number 10 are the two add-ons that are most overlooked on cruise travel. Now is a great time to do automatic tipping before you leave for your cruise that's going to tip your onboard people in advance. That way you don't have to worry about spending that money two weeks from now while you're on board. And also for many carriers, this is going to be your last chance to purchase travel insurance, which is going to protect the vacation that you purchased in the event something unforeseen happens between now and your cruise. Or if you were to get ill on your cruise, would we'll help you out with a doctor there or even flying you back home from the cruise ship if necessary. So that's it. Those are the 10 things that you should be doing right now, two weeks before your cruise. Boy, I bet you can't wait. I bet you're excited. I, in fact, am two weeks before a cruise myself, and this is always kind of the sweet spot for me. Thanks for watching. Again, make sure you click that subscribe button if you're not already. Click the little bell notification. That way YouTube will let you know every time we upload a brand new video. And that's it for me. I'll see you very soon. In this case, two weeks up on the Lido deck.